Honestly, like I always wanted to do music, and I knew, I knew, you know, once my brother started doing music, I knew if I ever did it, music ever, you know, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew, you know, at some point, you know, if I if I was gonna do it, it's, they was gonna be like, oh, you're a little brother. But you know what? Like, like as far as like the shadow thing, like to me, it's not. I don't really see it as a shadow. I just see like that's my brother right there protecting me. Like yeah, like yeah, okay. It's like I, I see that's an honor. Like I, you know, I represent my brother, you know, for life, no matter what. And. For me, the more difficult part was I just want to, you know, I just want respect as an artist. They don't have anything. I don't mind answering, you know, questions about my brother because that's my brother. And, like, you know, low-key, I, I looked up to my brother a lot, you know what I mean? And I'm definitely, uh, like, my brother's definitely a big influence on me musically, too, you know. And, you know, there's no denying it, you know. And then our voices sound the same and all that. So, you know, it, it'll definitely be, you know, it'll always be comparisons, you know, except for when I probably sing or whatever. But even then, sometimes, if I'm singing low, I'm going to sound like my brother still, but, like, like for me, the more like it's just more about uh, giving respect as a you know as a, as a solo artist. Nothing to do with my brother. Like you know, like, like my brother always always be there. You know for me, and I'm gonna always rep him. So you know, like like yeah, Illa J, J Dilla, Yancey boys always.